The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. The Dozier School for Boys closed in 2011 amid tales of abuse and even murder. University of South Florida researchers have located dozens of unmarked graves, but their efforts to exhume those bodies have been thwarted until now. We're not exactly sure what happened there, but we know it wasn't good, and it's something that we as Floridians cannot ignore. There is no shame in searching for the truth. Acting as the property's owner. Any comments or objections? Hearing none, the motion carries. Governor Rick Scott and the state cabinet voted to allow USF to exhume the bodies. It was a pure hell. Johnny Lee Gaddy was sent to Dozier in 1957. I saw body parts of boys in different areas in the hog pen. The search for bodies will encompass an area near an existing cemetery and the former white section of the property where no graves are marked. Robert Straley was sent to Dozier in the 60s. I say that there is 200 kids buried there and they may not find them all. Researchers hope to start what they are describing as slow and painstaking work by the end of August. Well, they've given us a year, so we'll take a year and um, we'll be doing field work and then continuing with the um, interviews. And for the families looking for loved ones who never came home, the search can't begin soon enough. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Massalinda reporting.